Hey, hello, and welcome back to my channel. So, welcome back to another episode of my College Diaries, the unofficial series. And today I am talking about how I prepare for my upcoming classes. Now, I took a, a Turk, a Turk a semester off, so I actually have still a couple weeks before the class starts, but I'm on the CSU portal website and I figured I'm gonna look at my books and then I was like, I'm gonna look at my books, I'm going to make this video that's been on my mind since my last semester started. Basically, if you don't know, my name is Madison and I'm currently a bachelor student at CSU Global, which is Colorado State University's global campus. And I have been doing this since January of last year, I think. And I am getting ready to start all the fun finance classes. Finally. This semester I am only taking one class. It is a 400 class and it sounds very difficult. It is going to be quantitative business analysis. I'm excited, I'm intrigued, and I'm also scared because it sounds like a lot. So I am first going to check the book list and see if I need to order a book or if the book is included in the course. So let's get to that. So there are a lot, a lot of courses at CSU Global. And since I have started using CSUG, they have started offering more degree programs and therefore they have more classes. So what I'm doing is I'm over here looking, I'm over here looking at my scheduled classes. I have quantitative business analysis. It starts in fall. So I went to the fall book list up here and I'm going to look for this course code. So I'm over here in the M's and I am looking for MTH410, TH122. This introduction to stats was my favorite class so far. Discrete mathematics, ooh, that sounds fun. Here we go, quantitative business analysis. So, it doesn't give me any information on it. It is by Newton Alla, that is the textbook. Um, it doesn't give me a code, an author, a name. Uh, it just tells a price. So it looks like I have to use the online version. I cannot get a physical copy of it. So now that I know this is done and I don't need to worry about trying to find a copy of it, and if I did need to, they don't give me any information about what the course book is. But now that I know this, I don't need to worry about trying to pre-order anything or worry about the price that this textbook is going to cost. It's gonna be under 50 bucks. This class actually starts on the 15th of July. Today's the 16th, so I have less than one day, less than a month until this class starts. And I'm excited. I'm also really looking an eye in that discrete mathematics class. That sounds very interesting. <laughs> Y'all probably thinking, what the heck is wrong with this woman? Um, I'm a math girly, okay? Fellorth, you check the me, get out of my way. I'm coming for the math, okay? So I was kind of close. I'm gonna try all my best to not do that one. Um, so yeah, that is what I always do first off before I do anything or even get access to the class is check the school book list to make sure that I don't need to pre-order anything or to have it shipped here, rent a textbook, I need to make sure that I can get access to it if I need to, and since I this goes on Red Shelf, which is like an automatic thing, I'm gonna get access to it. So, textbook is checked off, and I will see you all the Friday before the 15th. Okay, today is the 11th and I get access to my schoolwork tomorrow the 12th the Friday before it starts and I need to come back and talk about what I do before I start school and one of those things is clean my room a deep clean really but clean my room nonetheless so every time before I start school it's always nice to just clean up your space to make it organized because you have clear space you have a clear mind type of thing and it just helps feel motivated. So before I work out today and everything like that, I'm going to clean my bedroom. 
I just gotta put some clothes away and stuff like that, and I really should vacuum my rug too. This is always the sad part about going back to school, is taking back all the books I've had checked out and haven't yet read, but would really like to. I have read this one though, and it was terrible. Don't read it. But, I just gotta bring all of my books back, because I don't have time now, and it's sad. <laughs> it's very sad. One of the first posts that I opened up to on my uh, quantitative business analysis class was a welcome to return students if you had to take this class again. And I just want to say, that, is, does that, that does not make me feel good. That's not a very good omen, okay? Like, I'm not going to redo this class. I'm not going to pay the money to take it twice. I'm just saying that doesn't give off very good vibes. Like, hi, welcome to the class again, you failures. You're going to have to take it twice? Oh, yes, you are. Like, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Teach. But um, that's not encouraging. Okay, so this is what the sheet looks like when it's finished. Basically, every single time I start a class, I go through, I look at every single module, and I write down all of the assignments that will be due. This way, I can check them off as I do them and get that little bit of serotonin, a little bit of dopamine that you get when you mark stuff off your checklist. So, that is what I do every single time. Not only does it just simply lay out how much work I have to do for that week. If it is Thursday and I still haven't finished the readings, which hasn't happened, but for example, if it's Thursday and I just finally finished crossing off the readings, I would still have a discussion post and an essay to write. The discussion posts are due Thursday and the essays are due on Sunday. So that'd be like, oh my gosh, better kick it into high gear. So I really like just having... I really like just having every single thing laid out here for me to look at and yeah this time I color coded it per class I don't usually do that but because the pin and you can see it on the other side I did color code it per class so there we go so I am gonna end this video here I hope you guys enjoyed it I just kind of thought I'd make this little video about how I prepare for my classes um, let me know if you take your schoolwork online, if you do, what degree are you getting, if you just watched this because you thought it was sounded interesting. Hey, feel free to also tell me if you're going to college and if you're getting a degree in whatever, you know, whatever you're getting. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. The point of this video ending is because school has started, so the before school prep has ended. So that means study school vlogs are going to be filmed. So, anyway, yeah. Taksumike for watching. I love you all so, so much. I'll see you guys all in my next video. Adios, au revoir, salut, hey do, and goodbye. That was different.